What were they thinking? It's us against the world. Well, no one f***ing cares. It was literally a horse. Why do you think I came all this way? Because you f***ing knew all along, mate. I just find it funny that you left me for your sister. Jamie is a f***ing boy. I wanted death. Daenerys has left the chat. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Els, aka The Witch, and today I am going to be talking about Game of Thrones and my opinions on how the series, after eight series to be exact, should have ended as opposed to what we received on Sunday evening. I have a lot to say. Firstly, it goes without saying, if you've not watched the episode yet, then there is spoilers because the whole of this video I'm going to be talking about what actually happens in Game of Thrones. The actors and characters in this series, nothing against you mate, nothing against you, you did your job great, you were all great actors. Everything that went into like making the series, nothing against you guys because you did a brilliant job. How ever, actually I'm going to google it, I need to know who the writers of this series are. Game of Thrones series eight writers here we go david bennett oh god how do i even pronounce that name d and d david don't know how to pronounce your surname sorry and db wrote season eight as opposed to the other series that were written based on the book called a song of ice and fire by george R. R. Martin. so the storylines i did not sit through eight years 2011 till now eight years worth of series actually i started in season three so i just caught up from there but anyway i did not invest my precious hours into this series for the storylines to be completely wiped off the face of the earth in season eight so this video is going to be me talking about firstly what, what was going on like what was going on and secondly how it should have ended in my opinion that there's so many other routes they could have gone down so this is what i'm going to say let's get into it the first thing is we watch game of thrones because it is shocking that's why i watch it anyway you never know who's going to die firstly and the storylines are well thought out key word there actually it's a sentence key sentence there well thought out with season eight they decided to just throw it all out of the window for some hollywood ending I don't want a Hollywood ending. I want carnage. I want people to die. I want to be shocked. I want to be like, oh, I really didn't expect that to happen. Which is ironic because the ending I didn't expect to happen because it was so meh. And what annoys me the most is there's so many unanswered questions. Let's start with Aya or Arya, I don't know how to pronounce it, Stark. Why did I sit through basically a whole series of her learning how to be faceless? to not watch her actually use it. Well, she used it once for Walder Frey. Why do I care about Walder Frey? The only thing I could commend them for was when she killed the Night King. That was the only point where I even got a glimmer of like the normal Game of Thrones that we all love. However, why did she not use it? What was the point? What were they thinking? What were they thinking? Secondly, to do with Arya, Aya. I wanna call her Aya, I wanna call her Aya. At the end of episode five, after Daenerys had fucking burnt down the whole city, she was just half dead, like strolling through the, the city. And then a horse rocks up, a white horse. Obviously everyone goes into conspiracy mode, thinking, oh, it could have been Bran as the three-eyed raven going to save her. Well, no, in hindsight, it was literally a horse. No hidden meaning, no clever message, just a f***ing horse rocking up and being like, all right, mate, do you want to get on my back and we can get out of this together? And that brings me to probably one of the most anticlimactic moments of the whole program. Cersei Lannister has been built up for eight series to be one of the most evil characters and we love her for it. Like, I really like her. She needed the most brutal death out of them all that would shock everyone only to be hit on the head by a rock. You've built up a character and her brother. Jamie played such a huge part in that series as well. Only to have him rock back to King's Landing and save her and she's crying because I don't want to die. I don't want to die. We should have kept that same tune for the whole f***ing series. I don't want you to be a human being, Cersei. I want you to be evil to your last breath where you have the most gory, brutal, everything that was coming to you came to you death but no you were literally in a basement sobbing to your brother who you're in love with being like 
it's us against the world. Well, no one f***ing cares. No one cares. I want you to die properly and then some rocks fall on them. And then the next the next episode, we see Tyrion digging them up and we just see them like in a caress like this. If you're dead and you got squashed by some rocks, you're not going to be intact, are you, either? They were, like, perfectly there, just a bit dusty. Mate, if, if tons of rocks are falling on me, my body's going to be smashed to smithereens. They look like mannequins. There's no way. It's just unrealistic. This is what should have happened, in my opinion. Aya is faceless. She steals Jamie's face, goes down to King's Landing, and kills Cersei as Jamie. So we're all thinking, oh! <gasps> Jamie's killing Cersei even though he loved her. And then afterwards he rips the face off and it's Aya. How much better would that have been than some rocks? Next, Jon Snow kills Daenerys. She had it coming, to be honest with you. She lost the plot, burnt down the whole city and Jon needed to do what he needed to do, which is fine, absolutely fine. He kills her, she's dead. Cool, Daenerys has left the chat. Drogon. The dragon turns up because he gets some sort of sixth sense that his mother's dead and starts bursting fire at the iron throne which then melts either you're a really just stupid dragon like one of them dogs that can't even find the ball when you throw it for them or it was like a play on words of the iron throne has represented something that has torn down daenerys and killed her her love for the throne has killed her and all that kind of spiel. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, moving on. One of the funniest things to come out of this episode, and it is obviously to do with a meme, is Brienne. Brienne got mugged off by Jamie. He took advantage, I reckon, when he was drunk, whatever, and then sacked her off the next morning to go and find Cersei and get crushed by some rocks. So Brienne has arrived at King's Landing after all of it's died down and whatnot to finish off the obituaries or this book, which tells the story about Jamie's life. These memes that I am seeing online, Brienne sat there with a, with a quill. What is it? One of them feather pens, a biro. <laughs> She's there scribbling away, writing down Jamie's life. And the memes are just so funny. It's like when you write one of them long texts to your ex or your boyfriend that's cheated on you saying, I just find it funny that you left me for your sister after I knew that you were already in love with her. Jamie is a f boy, that's all. Jamie is a f boy. Another thing is Jon Snow finally touched that dog. He touched the dog, the neglected dog, which got one ear blown off. Can't remember when that happened. Jon Snow gets back to the, the Night's Watch and finds Ghost, the dog, and they have a moment, which is very good because people were kicking off before about the fact that John didn't touch the dog so bravo he touched the dog happy days Sansa can I just say about Sansa for the first I'd say six seasons until she this is gonna sound weird until she went through a lot with um, her ex-husband that like abused her I didn't really like her character I didn't really have time for it she she ugh. She liked Joffrey. Like, if you like Joffrey, then who are you? This season, Sansa has been one of the turnaround characters for me. And I just love how spiteful she is. She reminds me of myself a little bit. She wasn't gonna let Bran rule. She was just like, no, do you know what? I didn't come all this way. I didn't go through all that to not actually get anything out of this. So I'm gonna be independent. We like Sansa, all hail Sansa, Queen of the North. So then obviously Bran is voted king of the six kingdoms now i don't hate on it i don't mind bran had the best one-liners in this whole series and then at the end of it he's like well why do you think i came all this way why do you think i came all this way because you knew all along mate you let a few people die along the way but you just knew the whole series literally from the first ever episode of game of thrones we see a white walker they've built the whole series up around this whole three-eyed raven the night king the night walkers to have them all extinct in one episode. It's bittersweet because that episode, episode three in season eight, was my favorite episode. It was the only one that kind of shocked me and people complaining about the lighting can get over it because I didn't have a problem watching it. It's called The Long Night and you're complaining that you can't see anything because it's nighttime. <sighs> Bran is a three-eyed raven, Hodor died. All these people, the fairies or whoever created it, that happened. But at this rate, I would have rather the Night King took over the Seven Kingdoms because at least it would have been dramatic and we would have been like, oh, 
I can't believe that happened. And I just want to, I want to believe at this point that Bran is still secretly the Night King and he's just going to be like, ha, joke's on you, here I am, you're all White Walkers. I wanted death. I wanted these storylines to develop into something and just be like a big reveal moment. The only f***ing reveal that I got was that we were all conned. And it doesn't take away from how good the other seven series were, but it was rushed. <sighs> And how are you gonna have not only one Starbucks cup or coffee mug or whatever? Why is there two water bowls? I didn't know they f***ing had water bowls down back in whatever year it was in. How many people did these cuts have to go through in order for this not to happen or to be passed and only for people on social media to find a f***ing water bowl? I know you need to be hydrated, but I'm sure they drank out of like iron. And then it ends, how cute. It ends exactly where it started, north of the wall in those woods. Do you know what I wanted to happen in that f***ing last scene? I wanted a white walk to pop out and be like, ha, let's start all over again. But no, we got um, Jon Snow going into the wilderness to live happily ever after with all the wildlings. Aya traveling west to, to find what is in the map without using her faceless skill, wasting that whole amazing storyline for nothing and Sansa ruling which is probably the only thing I'm happy about and then Bran trying to find the dragon being the free-eyed raven having a nap. I want to know what you guys think. <laughs> what do you think should have happened in Game of Thrones? Did you think that all these clever things or Bran was secretly the Night King? All these conspiracy theories and all this time that people spent trying to figure out. To be honest the writer should have just left it up to the public to make the storylines because they probably would have been more well thought out than what we got dealt with. I don't think it takes away from the fact that it's still one of the best TV series of all time. It's just very frustrating that this has happened and they've left it in a way that you can have all these spin-offs. I wanted people to die. <sighs> but I do need to say before I go, that one shot where Daenerys is walking to go and address the Unsullied and the the thing flaps at the same time, showing that she's actually like an evil person. Great, that is a great shot. And all of just the, the graphics and cinematography, cinematics of it all were outstanding throughout. I just think that the storyline let it down and that's all. Let me know in the comments because I'm really open to having this discussion and if you don't even watch Game of Thrones and you've made it this far, thanks for watching. I hope you've uh, learned a bit. I've probably spoiled the entire eight series for you, but here we are. If you weren't going to watch it anyway, then fine. Yeah, let me know in the comments. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and like the video. Um, and yeah, I'll be back soon with some amazing more content for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.